What are you doing? I will come over there. I swear to God. Jonathan. It's not even your name. Excuse me. I'm using a process here that most people, when they're making puzzles, do, and they do the edge pieces first, and then move in in the middle piece. So this piece is not required at this juncture. Thank you. If I had all my edge pieces, then possibly I could finish and move into the middle pieces, but I don't know where the rest of my edge Ah, I found it. Mm. Missing one. What did you do with it? Stop it. This puzzle you have bought is inferior. Because look, you click them together and they come apart again. That is not what puzzles are supposed to do. I mean, yes, they come apart again, but not easily. You're supposed to have to work for it. This one, just look at that! Puzzle's not worth doing. It's a ridiculous thing anyway. It's a learning tool, Sherlock. Your mom's a learning tool. <clears throat> Yeah, I said it. It's supposed to look like this. Oy, oy, oy. What the heck is an asteroid belt? Main asteroid belt? There's more than one of these? Because if it says main asteroid belt and there's only one, then someone needs to be fired. Wherever the people that do this kind of stuff work. In space, as you say, since there are people up there. Why would you do that? What's up there that could be so interesting? Nothing. Really? <laughs> Stop it! Where was I? Earth is the only planet to support life, apparently. Well, yes. Because no one else lives up there. This is a very ridiculous thing you brought me here. What the? Haha. <laughs> so where is this earth of ours? Aha! Found it! Oh. I see. Oh, where's the one that connects at the top? Oh, then we can have a nice little line all the way through. Oh, wait. This one would be good, too. Right there. See? It is convenient that they're all different colors. Now see, if the solar system and all that stuff is so important and real, would it really be that lucky, statistically, that all of our lovely planets are different shades of colors? It's like someone went up there with a paintbrush. Ah. Where's Saturn? Saturn? Saturn. I don't need your help! I didn't look on the thing, I swear. Aha! 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 See? See? Oh, it's the one with the things. The... Vibrating. Someone's actually calling me. It's probably my brother. I'm not gonna answer. Oh. You know, he really needs to stop calling me. He knows I'm never going to pick up. And then he leaves me voicemails. Like I'm going to listen. You want to listen to the voicemail for me, John? Thanks. Ugh. You're not still timing me, are you? Because this is going to be a very sad performance. Hey, nice. I think it's still going. <laughs> I don't want to know what it's going to say. Two hours. What is this? Why would anyone put a planet so close to the sun that it overheats? Isn't that pointless? What's the use of that planet then if it's just there boiling away? Exactly. Nothing. Is it your dad's room? Ugh. God, this is cumbersomely annoying. Cumberbatchly annoying. <gasps> no crumpets. No crumpets. Where the fudge? I don't like asteroids! Aha, 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 the blue one, the light teal one, the whatever one, the 
That one. And you know, I did read a little bit of that book of yours, and apparently there used to be nine planets. How could these solar systems so important? Could we all of a sudden have eight instead of nine? What did we do? Lose it? Or demote it? How can you do Ridiculous. We decided it wasn't in a planet anymore. How can you just decide it's not a planet anymore? That's like deciding... Deciding it's not your face anymore. Your face. I don't even know what that means. Where the, I don't like these asteroids. They don't go where they're supposed to go. Or where they don't go. I don't like the asteroids. Venus? Venus. Venus is the hottest planet because its cloud cover traps the sun's heat. Or because it's right next to the goddamn sun. Who wrote this? Ugh. You should get your money back, John. It's quite ridiculous. All of this. Not to mention utterly pointless. Still a good learning tool. Your mom's still a good learning tool. Ugh. Ah, 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 the asteroids. Stupid bloody asteroids. Done. <clears throat> Eleven minutes and twenty six seconds. On my The Solar System puzzle, it says Mercury is the closest to the sun and has an almost no atmosphere. So why do we care? Mars has a thin atmosphere of poisonous gas. Another reason, why do we care if it's poisonous? Earth is the only planet to support life, blah, blah, blah. Jupiter is the largest planet and has 20, uh, 62, I probably should read that right, 62 moons. I don't see 62 moons around it right now, this Mm, whatever thing here clearly is not accurate as it doesn't seem to have moons. If it tells me there's 62 moons, shouldn't it show them as well? That makes sense. But clearly this thing does not make sense. Uranus is a huge gaseous planet covered with clouds. Okay. Saturn is the second largest planet with beautiful rings made from ice chunks and rocks. What? So wait, Saturn has got beautiful rings with made from ice chunks and rocks. I don't see the point. Neptune is the stormiest planet. Stormiest planet? That's its like claim to fame. I'm the stormiest planet. Yep. With winds up to 1,250 miles per hour. Good for it. And apparently there was a ninth planet at one point called Pluto. I would like to also comment, and if they included things like this random comet and the main asteroid belt, why didn't they include demoted planet Pluto? Poor, poor Pluto. But no one cares about any of this. Sherlock out. Didn't spill my tea.